What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than after kill, and I'm back here on my Sunday Minecraft Let's Play Q&A Hardcore Survival motherfucking cut sucking shit. <laughs> that is a lot of shit to say. I gotta shorten down these titles a bit. But yeah, we're back here live on a Q&A playing Minecraft, and look, it just got dark out. And you know what that means? We have a fresh set of armor, we have some bows and arrows, and we have an iron sword, so we're going to go outside and play around for a bit and see what kind of monsters we can't take out. So we're going to get right into the Q&A, and the first question today is from Mr. Big Boy, and he says, if you would, he said, if you would pick one, would you drive a Ferrari F, uh, 458 Italia or a Lamborghini Aventador? And I will tell you, those are both two very nice cars. But I'm not a big fan of Italian cars. I do know Lamborghini is kind of more German now than Italian, even though they're Italian-owned. Oh, shit. What is hitting me? <laughs> I think that archer down there just uh, hit me for no reason. I don't know how he hit me from that impossible angle. But, yeah, there he is. Look at that. Look at that, you lagging son of a bitch. All right, uh... But no, uh, either way, if I was going to own one, I would pick the Ferrari, just because the Ferrari sounds a lot better than a Lamborghini, in my opinion. What is hitting me? Where the hell was that from? <laughs> that is uh, not good. Uh, let's get some pork chops onto our hot bar here. That way, if uh, anything does happen in the heat of a moment, we can. But yeah, I do like uh, Ferraris just for the sound that they make. Uh, you can't beat a Ferrari sound. That's why if uh, if I ever wanted a Ferrari style sound, I'd probably end up getting a Ducati because Ducatis are made by uh, the same company that makes Ferraris. They are pretty awesome. Oh, no! I heard that shit. Get me the fuck out of here. Where are you at? Where the hell? Um, Let's see if we can't scratch our way up here and find out where the fuck that creeper went to because... That was not cool, bro. Ah, no, 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 no. Get out of here. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like I said, I would probably pick the uh, Ferrari over the Lamborghini just because there's creepers. Creeper. Creeper. Creeper, 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 creeper. There's a lot of creepers out here. What is my house near? A creeper spawn or something? Oh, my God. Maybe I can get the skeleton to fight the creeper. No! Holy shit. Alright, alright. It's time to get out of here. No more fucking around on this Q&A. No more fucking around. Get me home. Get me the fuck home. Home free. Free as a creeper chasing me. Oh, shit. Let's just jump. Fuck it. Let's get out of here. Save me, squid. Save me. No. No! No! Oh my god, I'm out of arrows. I'm out of arrows. How do I get away from these guys? Somebody help me. Somebody help me. I don't want this series to end like this. It can't end like this. There's no way it can end like this. There's another creeper! Strafe jump! Strafe jump! Get me out of here. Strafe jump! Ha <laughs> ha! I can't do this Q&A like this! There's so much stress! So much going on right now. Lamborghinis, Ferraris. Yeah, let's keep on topic. Uh, no. They're camping. They're camping. Ready? I can handle a zombie and a skeleton. That creeper that wants to fuck me up really wants to fuck me. No, 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 no. Holy shit. Did you guys see that? Holy fuck. Um... The skeleton just killed himself. And that creeper ain't going anywhere. So, uh... Ha, ha! What do I do? Do I let him in? Do we let him in? I don't know. Uh, let's get to the next question while we're deciding. It, sa it says, uh... Yo, I've got a question for you, and it's from Wizzy KT God, And he says... Do you like Miss May I or The Devil Wears Prada since I like rock and shit? Uh, no, not really. I'm not really a big fan of those. I do like rock. My, you know, my, my tastes are more towards, like, old rock, classic rock. 
But I do like uh, some new hardcore. I do like some, uh, you know, really cool metal that is out newer today than would be, uh, you know, expected. I think, like, newer bands I like would be, like, you know, like, Hate Breed or Chimera. I know a lot of people give me shit because I like Slipknot, but you know what? I, I think Slipknot puts on a damn good show, and they're really awesome live. So, yeah, that that's why I like Slipknot. I like any band that puts on a decent show live. And, uh... I'm still scared, man. There is some shit outside my door. And I can't even go outside now because there's a creeper. And if you guys don't know, creepers don't burn in the daylight. So that creeper is gonna be there. I'm trying to just kill time. So I can go back up there and see if that creeper has, like, unspawned or some shit. Because that creeper was fast. He was fucking fast, but no, I don't like those two bands, but yeah, like I said, I like, uh, like, Lamb of God, Hatebreed, Chimera. If I listen to, like, newer shit, it's gonna be from, like, bands like that. I really do like a lot of death metal, too, like, uh, I guess you would say, like, Demu, Borger. I don't even know how to say it right, uh, but that's alright, because I'm from America, and we say things wrong all the time. Uh, I also do like another band, they're also a Polish band. I'm Polish myself, if you guys didn't know that, uh... There's an awesome Polish band, they're called uh, Behemoth, fucking awesome, I do love them, they rip a lot of ass, and uh, the Creeper, oh no 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 no, they're still out there, better believe it, they are still fucking out there, so let's get on to the next question, and our next question is from Pineapple Express, and he says, yo Mac, how many concerts have I been to, and who did I see? That is a damn good question, actually, because I have seen an ass ton of bands. Uh, I mean, since I went to, like, every OzFest since 2001, you could probably say that I've seen, like, hundreds of bands, especially just from OzFest. But then, like, you go to, like, other, like, small shows, like, you know, out in my area, there's a nice little bar called the Starland Ballroom. Really fucking awesome, really good shows there. I've seen uh, the Deftones there. I've also seen uh, Slayer there, uh, Dry Kill Logic, Hatebreed, Chimera, Lamb of God, Otep, uh, like, way too many to list. I mean, there's just been so many bands over the years that I've seen, and I'd have to say probably out of all those, like, my favorite to see live are probably, like, Korn, Rob Zombie, uh, Ozzy always puts on a good show. Marilyn Manson is really, really fucking good. And I've said it before, Slipknot, uh, Slayer, you know, they're, they're a damn good band live anyway. We don't have to mention them. But, you know, it's always good to give, the you know, one of the big three a good shout-out, even though everybody loves Slayer. If you don't like Slayer, go check out Slayer. You might like Slayer because they're fucking awesome. But, yeah, there's just been way too many bands to list. I, I may start a series where I just tell you guys some of the shit, like, I've seen at concerts and shit because there's some really awesome stuff. I mean, the first, uh, the first concert I ever went to, there's, like, just a bunch of people hanging out in the area, and they're, like, you know, all smoking weed and drinking and everything, and every chick that walked by, they were, like, show your tits, show your tits, and they kept screaming it, and eventually the girls would show their tits, everybody give a good cheer, and fucking, it was an awesome time, man, it's, like, I think I was, like, 17, 18 around that time, so that's, uh, pretty fucking cool, I, I, I enjoy going to concerts, I like going to shows, and... I wish they had them more often because, you know, there, there's a lot of damn good bands out there that I still want to see. And I think, uh, you know, one day we're going to have to go and uh, maybe do a vlog from a concert. I think that would be really cool. Uh, that, that might be a possibility sometime in the future. But, uh, yeah, thanks for asking the question, man. And our next question is from the live MJD Central. And he says, what Uncharted series is my favorite which uh one of the series and i'd have to say uh uncharted one was really cool because i loved the uh when, how it started out in the jungle and whatever and it, it was the first uncharted i've played so of course it's gonna be like you know it, it was jaw dropping to me exactly how much they got out of that engine and the fact that like when i played uncharted 3 it didn't even disappoint like they managed to squeak out more out of that engine, if that is possible. We got grass here. Um, let's see if... This is a bad idea! No! Oh my god, he's coming into my house! He's coming into my house! 
Get away from me! Um... Yeah! Huh! Good job! I did not die! That's good! Let's uh... I knew that was gonna be a bad idea! God damn it! How come all my ideas are a bad one? <laughs> but yeah, we do have some arrows now! And we probably do have a little bit of... No, we have no flints! God damn it! I should probably go beat up some gravel, but... I'm not... I really want... Since, since like, I don't want to die on this survival let's play... I don't want to rely on pigs! So I do want to start a farm. As you can see, I have a hoe here. So we're going to go ahead. Where'd my other pork chop go? Urgh. Oh, well, I got pork chops out the ass up in here. Let's uh, get ourselves some choppity chop chops. <laughs> and uh, see if we can't go outside without getting chased down by a bunch of fucking creepers. But uh, yeah, I, I think my favorite one would be Uncharted 1 just because of the sheer factor of how... Uh, how amazing it was compared to like you know how old it was when I first played it so yeah I think Uncharted 1 would be my favorite and uh, your other question was do I like the Soul Calibur series fuck yeah man what do you take me for an asshole everybody loves the Soul Calibur series the Soul Calibur series is like one of the most epic fighting game series of all time and honestly I will tell you that game and uh, Crazy Taxi single-handedly sold me my first Dreamcast. Because when I, I remember when they were coming out, I was like, yep, this is, uh, this is the game for me. This is, this is exactly what I wanted from a system. And I remember the Dreamcast was the first system I actually took online, too. Which is amazing if you think about it, like, back in 2001, talking about online gaming, when, you know, the Xbox original wasn't even out yet. And, you know, Xbox 360 is considered to be, like, you know, the pioneer of awesome, like, online gaming. So it's, uh, it's funny how that plays out and how that works out, so... Let's go ahead and clear some of this land while we're answering some questions. And we're gonna try to... Uh, we're out of... Damn it, do I really need to make a couple iron shovels? I don't want to waste iron on that. But I do want to, you know, make sure I can get some of this farm cleared out before, uh, it gets nighttime and... It's already getting nighttime. God damn, Xbox! Why must you be so uh, nighttime-ish? <laughs> so let's go in here. Yeah, we got plenty of that, so we're gonna make ourselves a bunch of uh, iron shovels here. Where's our crafting table? God damn it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's get on to the next question. And our next question is from Mr. Tyler, and he says, What is the most disgusting thing that's ever happened to you and your girlfriend? Huh. Good question. Uh, like, I don't know what you mean by disgusting. Are you trying to, like, ask what kind of sexual habits we have? Like, are you, are you, are you inadvertently trying to ask me if I fuck my girlfriend in the ass? Because if you are, sir, the answer is yes. <laughs> no, uh, I don't know. Most disgusting thing that ever happened to me and my girlfriend. Uh... I guess this one time, the cat, uh, I guess the cat had a little bit of a problem and it let out a little bit of a turd on the bathroom floor and she walked into the room and she stepped into it and she slid across the floor and hit her head onto the bathroom counter. True story, actually. Very, very true story. I thought it was fucking hilarious, but she was like, I slid in cat poo. There's like a shit streak right across the tile and everything. Fucking, fucking awesome. I, I, I almost died laughing that day. I was literally like, woohoo, that was hilarious. And your next question is, what person do I really hate? Uh, I guess you guys wouldn't really know. So, uh, yeah, I guess you guys wouldn't know. But there is this kid that I used to go to school with, and uh, I really didn't like him. I mean, he was friends with a lot of our other friends, and he just he was like one of those really arrogant, pompous people that would be like, oh, yeah, 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 to your face, and then talk shit about you behind your back just to make other people's laugh. Not really cool, not really cool, didn't like him. Uh, his name was Jacob, but we called him Boob. Because he was a boob. <laughs> but, uh, 
Yeah, I, I didn't really like him. I thought he was such a fucking asshole. A lot of our friends liked him, and then, like, he started doing stupid shit, like, accusing everybody of sleeping with his girlfriend. Who, by the way, on a side story, is really, really fucking hot, but now she's a whore and she has AIDS. Like, dead serious. That That's a different story, but... Yeah, we're not going to put her on the spot like that, but yeah, uh, he used to accuse people of, like, trying to bang his girlfriend, this, that, and I mean, his girlfriend was a total fucking whore anyway, and, you know, her life ended up being what she was going to be, it was, ended up being a fucking whore, but yeah, it's just, uh, I can't stand people like that, like, if you're my friend, I'm not going to fuck your girlfriend, man, I might fuck your sister, but I'm not going to fuck your girlfriend, <laughs> uh, that's only if your sister comes on to me. I'm not gonna, like, you know, go out and try to bang your sister, but come on, if she, uh, if she's down for to get down, then, you know, something, something's going down. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I just really didn't like him, and, uh, funny thing is, is the last time I ever seen him, uh, I kicked his ass pretty fucking good. I mean, uh, he was outside, and I guess him and his girlfriend was getting into a really big argument, and uh, she came up to us crying, and she was like, he hit me, he hit me, and I don't like it when, you know, guys hit girls. You're not supposed to do that, not cool. So, you know, we went over there, and one of my friends was like, dude, fucking, I'll buy you a pack of cigarettes and some dinner if you kick his ass. And I was like, you know, I was going to kick his ass anyway, so I was like, fuck yeah. You know, I was like, he's like, all right, well, we're going to need, like, some McNuggets. Well, not McNuggets, they were uh, Wendy's Nuggets at the time. I was like, I'm going to need some Nuggets, a drink, uh, a fry, and maybe maybe some type of, like, frosty dairy dessert. And he was like, no, no to the dessert, but I, I, I negotiated the dessert in there. But anyway, that's not the story. I walked up to him, I punched him in the face, I kicked his ass pretty fucking good. And he ran into oncoming traffic to try to get away from me. Funny story. He could have really gotten hurt. Really, really, really gotten hurt. But, uh, no, he ended up, uh, you know, with a bruised ego, bruised, uh, I guess, eye or whatever. Fucking, I didn't really see him after that, but a couple of people were like, man, he did a pretty good, uh, pretty good job on his face. So, I'm, uh, actually proud of that because I did stick up for a woman to get that job done. So, uh, yeah, we have a nice bit of land cleared out here. And, uh, I, I do want to clear out these trees so we can, uh, I, I'm going to build a greenhouse here. That's what we're going to do. I'll probably do that for a time lapse. I do just want to get this, uh, whole area cleared out on this Let's Play and, uh, you know, answer some questions for you guys. So it's getting dark out and we all know what that means. That means I'm staying my ass the fuck inside because we saw what happened earlier and we got questions again from Mr. T Coop 16 He's back again and he says... When Minecraft for the Xbox has creative mode, why use that world type for subs or stick to the survival gameplay? That is a good question. I will stick to the survival gameplay only because, uh, you know, that's what my Let's Play is. But uh, I, I will start a creative world. I do love building creatively. I don't know why. It's just uh, something that I really like doing. And uh, I guess Minecraft really... It brings out the kid in you. It brings out the, you know, I want to build with Legos type of uh, kid in you. So, yeah, I I'll probably uh, start a creative world. And I do want to do open lobbies on Minecraft. But like I said, it's the same thing with live streams. Whenever I sit down and I get the time to, like, live stream or to fucking do an open lobby, I'm usually beat-ass tired. And I'm like, man, we'll do this another day. So, uh, yeah. And, uh... Your second question is, why don't you have a bed in your hardcore Let's Play series? That's a good question. I I, I guess I'm used to playing Minecraft from uh, Alpha. That's when I first started playing Minecraft, and that was before beds and all this stupid shit. So, uh, beds don't really, uh, I don't need beds, because if it's dark outside, then I'll just come inside and I'll dig around, you know, see if I can't find any more diamonds. And uh, that way I have enough, uh, you know, materials if I need them. It's, it's a good way to uh, keep yourself stocked up. And uh, I don't know, the, the, the bed doesn't really seem to do much without uh, the hunger bar. Because the hunger bar, you know, when you sleep, it replenishes your hunger bar. And, you know, it's pretty shitty to try to replenish your hunger bar by eating all the pork chops and whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, it, it makes more sense to do it in an uh, actual world that's not, you know... I guess, uh, so far b scaled back is this, I guess, 
I would say, because this is like 1.7, I think, and uh, Minecraft's in like, I guess it would be like 1.2.4 now, but that would be like, you know, if you went by like beta numbers, it would be like 2.0 or some shit like that. I don't fucking know, but uh, yeah, and your third question is, do I have an NES or an SNES? I have both, actually. Uh, they are laying around here somewhere, and I would love to dust them off and do old school gameplays for you guys so I could play these games and be like, this is exactly how I was feeling back in like 1988 when I'm jamming down to these games. And you guys can actually get a feel of like how my childhood went with my video gaming and shit like that. And I think that would be special to share with you guys because, you know, a lot of the older video games do hold a big uh, place in my heart and they do... Uh, you know, I, I do love playing them. So, I mean, if you guys would want, like, something like a Legend of Zelda playthrough for the original Nintendo, I, I will go find it and dig that shit out. And, you know, we'll jam out on some NES, get some Contra speed runs in there, see uh, how far I could make it with my old man reflexes anymore, and uh, see if I can live up to the hype that I used to as a kid. But, uh, and your fourth question is, do you understand these macronyms? I love my macronym. Anybody that hates on my macronym, go fuck yourself. <laughs> but, uh, and your last comment was, go have a great Father's Day. I did have a good Father's Day. It was a really good time. So, uh, you know, thank you for the, uh, for the actual nice comment. You know, it's funny because a lot of people, they do, uh, I mean, they do ask questions or whatever. Uh, they do hit me up on Skype. I do accept, uh, requests on Skype. And, uh... It sucks when people only want to talk to me because, like, they they want help on their YouTube channel. I'm like, well, why can't we just be friends? Why do I have to, like, why do we have to sit there and, like, talk about YouTube or, you know, try to help you out with your channel? Uh, like, I, I, would, I would rather appreciate it if people would try to befriend me a little bit more and, uh, you know, just stop asking for all types of bullshit because that does get annoying. I My Skype gets spammed, like all day long with links and shit like that and it's cool i want to check out your video but i mean that's what twitter's for is spam my fucking twitter all day long at more than after kill <laughs> head moving right along into the questions we have mr cobra 531858 wow that's a lot of numbers but i said that correctly actually so uh he says do you own grand theft auto floor floor grand theft auto floor ha <laughs> ha no, uh, I don't own Grand Theft Auto Floor. I actually, I'm saying it wrong on purpose, but uh, no, I don't own GTA 4. I did own it, and I beat the hell out of that game, and then I got rid of it. I don't need it anymore. Uh, one of my favorite things to do in Grand Theft Auto is, believe it or not, I know this sounds like weird, but I like getting in like cars or buses and just driving around and trying to obey the street laws and like the traffic lights and shit just because I'm so amazed that they can make a living world in a video game so I'm like you know what let's see what it's like to live a daily life in Liberty City you know that's kinda cool uh, is it really like last time I played GTA 4 online uh, I was just in a free world open lobby just you know kinda running around and uh, I was driving a bus and I was like hey anybody here uh, you know need a ride, I got a bus, blah, blah, blah. So I was picking people up and dropping them off on buses. I think we had a bus full of, like, six people. And some dickhead was like, hey, I need a bus ride. And when I came to pick him up, he blew all of us up with an RPG. And I was like, that's not cool. Like, we were, we were role-playing. We were having a really good time. And you blew up my fucking bus. And if you're watching this and you blew up my fucking bus... Yeah, fuck you too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my favorite thing to do is just to fuck around and see exactly uh, what it's like to live a daily life in Liberty City. So uh, let's toss these freaking dirt down there. We don't need no stinking dirt. But uh, let's get on to the next question. And we have the cool kids, 1523. And he says, when you answered my question, I got so happy, but I have another one. How many subscribers do you want by the end of the year? Uh, as many as I have now. Uh, I don't really worry about gaining subs. I do love gaining subs, don't get me wrong. But when it comes down to it, as long as I don't lose subs, I'm happy. I mean, I mean, everybody loses subs, it happens. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to lose, like, all my subs. I like the fact that I have my own little corner of the world where what I say 
some people fucking listen and they they like to comment on what I have to say and it's something that I don't have in my daily life it's like you know cuz I'm just a normal fucking dude just fucking hanging out doing this that rat a tat tat and fucking let's let's get rid of this dirt see if I can't pick up this goddamn uh, flint cuz I yeah there we go all right all right all right but yeah I'm just like a regular dude in my daily life and you know Nothing I say really matters in this world, so when I can come onto YouTube and I voice my opinion on some shit, and you guys actually listen, that means a lot to me, because, you know, not a lot of people have that in this world, and, and to be like, you know, a young adult like I am, 29 years old, it's, it's nice to have a place in the world where people are just like, hey, you know, it's this guy again. Fucking hey, you know, I, I want to, like, hang out with this guy for, like, five, ten minutes, watch his video, and then, uh, you know, get on with the going on. That's, uh, it's just really fun to have that. And, uh, I mean, if I could put a number on it by the end of the year, I wouldn't mind having 10,000 subscribers. I think that's a realistic goal. Is it going to happen? It, possibly. I mean, maybe. It's it's not a given, but it, it's definitely something that's worth striving for. And those of you guys that are out there, and you, uh, you know, you're trying to build your channels up, don't worry about subs, man. Just put videos up and do what you gotta do. And if you're doing a good job, people will let you know by subscribing. So if you are putting up videos and no one's subscribing, you maybe need to look at what you're doing and see if you can do it better. Or any way, like, you know, take the positive feedback that you get, if you get any, and, uh, you know, try to do something with it. It's, it's I mean... It's a touchy subject, really, because, you know, it's just, it happens, like, so weird for people. Like, I wasn't even trying to have a YouTube, and it just happened to where, like, people started watching my YouTube, and it's like, it was really strange at first. I was like, oh, man, like, you know, I can't believe there's people actually out there that want to watch what I'm doing. And uh, now it's kind of kind of gotten to the fact that I'm, I'm actually kind of used to it, so I, I, I just, like doing what I gotta do to, you know, entertain you guys, hang out with you guys, and maybe even, you know, teach you a little something. Some of my videos are a little bit informative, like my, uh, what do you call that? Like my news videos, and I give you guys my opinion on the world, so, yeah, I, I think it's actually pretty cool. So, let's shoot for 10,000 subscribers. If you guys, you know, want to help me out with that, and you want to get some subscribers on here, Make sure you guys like the video, favorite it, share it on Twitter. Twitter helps a lot more than you think. It's freaking awesome with how much Twitter helps out, actually. But, yeah, that, that's, I mean, if you if you feel I deserve 10,000 subscribers and you want to help me get there, uh, favorite, share, like, you know, Facebook, Twitter, all that shit. So, I mean, it, it's just pretty cool. So, that's, that's all I got to say about that. Let's get on to the next question because we are dragging on pretty long. And... Chelsea Forever's boo. She has a very uh, deep and meaningful question to ask me. And she said, what happened to your dad? Because I mentioned in the last video that I don't have a dad and I grew up without a dad. Uh, my dad, I wish I could say like my dad was a war hero and he went down fighting for, you know, whatever, you know, is right in the world and whatever is good. But I can't say that. My dad is what you call... A gigolo. <laughs> My dad has uh, kids all over the country. What he would do is, is he would get with a girl, you know, fake being in love, live with her until things got so bad that the only way to fix it was to, you know, have a kid with her. And then once he had a kid with her, he'd stay with her as long as he can until, you know, things got pretty crappy. And then he would leave and leave his children behind. Uh, last time I remember checking... They said I have like 30, 31 brothers or sisters uh, living all across the country because of how much of a scumbag my dad is. So, uh, yeah, that, that's about the story with my dad. He's just a fucking asshole, man. So, uh, thanks for asking. It's pretty, uh, pretty touchy subject with me. I don't really talk about my dad a lot to a lot of people. And, you know, to bring up such a personal subject on YouTube helps me grow a little because I, I you know... 
You can hear the pain in my voice right now. It's actually really fucked up growing up without a dad, but I I'll talk about that into another video. Maybe when I do my, like, road to 30 and I let you guys know, you know, what type of path I walked all the way up until now and, you know, let you guys know my childhood and shit. But as of right now, I'm just not ready to share that with you guys, but just know that my dad is a scumbag and... There's nothing more needed to be, you know, talked about him. So let's get on to the next question. And we have Ultimate Card Master again, Ultimate Team Master. And he says, hey, I got three questions for you. Do you miss that 70s show? I do not. And do you know why? Because I own it on DVD. Haha, <laughs> you jelly, bro. Yeah, you're jelly. You're mad jelly. Nah, I actually do love that show. And I don't miss it because I watch it all the time. That and Friends. You guys didn't hear me say that, but I love Friends. Friends is like one of my favorite TV shows in the world. If you've never watched Friends, I swear to God, go watch an episode of Friends and you will never laugh harder than you ever laughed before. Because it's just one of those shows that just like has a lot of stupid shit. Oh, we got iron! Yay! <laughs> but uh, see that right there? People ask why I'm using an iron pick. Well, I just paid for my iron pick for this staircase, so, you know... What up? <laughs> but uh, your second question is, what is your favorite gun camo in Gotham City Imposters? And he says, I'm guessing you're going to go with Pink Cheetah. You're goddamn right I'm going to go with Pink Cheetah. Pink Cheetah, man, come on. When they saw that as a, as a weapon camo, I flipped shit. I was like, say what? And I was like, got to go with Pink Cheetah. I mean, I don't even give a fuck about gold camo. I mean, I know they got the kitty camo and that's pink. But it's not as cool as Pink Cheetah. And if you think about it, Pink Cheetah already is Pink Kitty anyway. So, <laughs> you know, screw you. I'm not going to go ahead and bust my ass to do challenges that nobody really gives a fuck about your weapon mod paint camo shit. Uh, as long as it looks good in my videos, I'm happy. So, yeah, Pink Cheetah does look sexy. And it lets other people know when they see it in the kill cams. Be like, hey, fuck you, bro. Fuck you. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we just picked up a shit ton of iron there. Fucking A, happy day, fucking A, happy day. And your third question is, the PS3 version of Gotham City Imposters, the problems are fixed, because you don't get them at all. Will I download it? And my answer to that question is, uh, no. No, I won't download it. I, I was thinking about it, but after, like, looking at it, I already bought the game on the PS3, all right? I mean, not PS3, PC originally, and that's broken, so I went out and I bought it on the Xbox. So that's already, what, 30 bucks right there? And then I bought the game, uh, the DLC, both of them, so that's like, what, another 10 bucks there? So I've already got, you know, 40 bucks invested into a $15 game, and, you know, I hear a lot of people still complain about problems on the PS3, and that doesn't, you know, calm my fears any on whether or not the PS3 version is, uh, you know, 100% working or not, but I do want to try it on the PS3, but, uh, I'm not gonna buy it, so the only way I will play that is if, uh, I know that sounds really, like, really fucked up to say, I want a free copy from Gotham City Imposters. I feel like they owe me it. Uh, the PC version doesn't work at all, and I didn't get what I paid for, which was a multiplayer online game. Because the multiplayer online on the PC is broken. So if Gotham City Imposters is watching, you know, I might make a video about that later on this week. I want a fucking refund for my PC version. And our next question is from WoofyDog979. And he says, if I could choose between a pistol shot to the head and a shotgun shot to the foot, which would you rather happen to you? And you can't say neither. That's, that's a no-brainer, no bro. Shotgun to the foot. You're not shooting me in the head. Uh... That would probably kill me, and then I won't actually give a fuck, but I don't want to be shot in the head. Seems like a bad time all around, so shotgun to the foot, and we're going to go right to the next question, which is from ACDC. Welcome back, bro. Glad to see you still watching the videos. And he says, what singer and song do I find annoying? And it doesn't have to be by that person. Uh, I find Lady Gaga to be annoying. Uh... My girlfriend loves Lady Gaga, and she loves Katy Perry, which I can stand Katy Perry because, you know, she's not that bad. She's actually pretty hot. She's got some big titties. But Lady Gaga, like, when I look at her, like, I don't know whether to be scared or, like, like, 
disgusting. It's just fucking... Like, I can't believe there could be a person out there that's so freaking ugly and, like, so untalented that's loved. I mean, I, I guess I'm in the same boat, really. I mean, I'm ugly and I'm untalented and there's some people out there that love me and watch my shit, so... Uh, I, I think I'm the Lady Gaga of YouTube. Oh, no. That is not good. Uh, <laughs> uh, just in case you know, we are picking up sand because I want to make a greenhouse out there for our time lapse. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna... I don't... Really? Do, do you see what I'm doing? I'm, like, busting all this shit, but I'm not picking up any sand. <laughs> That's, uh, epic. Good job. Good job, bro. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I find Lady Gaga and anything she has to do with music uh, really freaking annoying. And our next question... Oh, no, I dropped my shovel. <laughs> Our next question is from It's Killer Goldfish, and he says, Are you going to do a Let's Play on Halo 4? Uh, I don't know what you mean by a Let's Play. I will be doing a multiplayer gameplay. Uh, I might possibly also put Halo 4 videos on Respawn, which would be amazingly awesome to help out my channel. Because, you know, the Gotham City Respawn has helped me out. But imagine a game like Halo, how big Halo is. That would, like instantly do wonders for my channel so I'm really looking forward to that and your second question is am I good at Halo I am not I'm not good at Halo which is why my series that I'm gonna be starting sometime later this week is be called noob to Halo Pro and I'm gonna be playing Halo 3 and I'm gonna put up my best gameplay of the week and then you guys are gonna tell me exactly what the fuck I did wrong and help me become a better player at Halo so you guys are going to be directly contributing to my video, and if I suck, it's your fault. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking, but uh, I am going to be doing that series. It sounds like a lot of fun, and uh, you know, I hope you guys get into that, because I do want to you know, expand into the first-person genre a little bit more. I do know Gotham City is a niche game, but I do want to get into more popular content so my channel can grow a little bit more, because... That, that's that's what I'd like, you know. I, I do oddball games, but I also want to do other games that I play because there's some games that I play that a lot of people really don't even know I play. Like, a lot of people were, like, really surprised to find out that I had Dead Island for the PC. And I was like, yeah, you know, I play Dead Island. It's a fun game. They're like, why didn't you ever do videos of it? I was like, nobody really wants to watch me do Dead Island, really? I mean, everybody's done Dead Island, so there's no re reason for me to do it at the time that you know, that it was out, but maybe uh, now that my channel's picking up a little bit, I can do some, uh, you know, a little bit more popular games and get away with it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you have a lot more questions. You said, four, uh, do I have walls? Uh, yes, my house has walls. Uh, number five, do you have all the Halo games? I do not. I only have Halo 3. And number six, is there an end? Uh, only if there's a start. Uh, seven, do I see goldfish? Nope, I do not. Uh, what do I think of your questions? I think there's a lot of them. <laughs> uh, number nine, can I play Xbox on the roof? Amazingly, I actually can. I have wireless controllers, and my Xbox is being able to be uh, played from my outside. So I can sit on the roof outside uh, on my shed and look in through my window and play Xbox if I wanted to. And number ten, do I see a tree? Uh... Yeah, there's a tree in the backyard. And number, uh, nope, that's it. That's all you got for questions. Nice. Let's, uh, get moving right along here. And Pingove is back. What is up, Ping? Nice to see you back here watching the videos again. And, uh, he says, what's up, Jay? Not much. What's up, Ping? And he says, when is my birthday? I'm not gonna tell you that. I, I don't give out my personal information online, which is why I don't give out my full name. Uh, or even my real name, because, you know, Jay is just a nickname of mine. Uh, you know, it could be short for anything. But I'm not going to tell you what it's short for, because there's no reason for you to know what it's short for. Because then you'll be able to find me and come and, like, you know, do weird stuff to me in the middle of the night. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to tell my birthday. Just know that it's, uh, you know, a day of the year. <laughs> but uh, your next question is, have I ever had sex with a man? I have not. Uh, no desire to have sex with a man. I don't look at a man and I'm like, yeah, gotta get me some of that penis. No, I mean, 
I look at a dude, I'm like, yo, wanna have a beer? Go throw a ball around, have a good time. Uh, but never once have I looked at a man and I said, I need to have sex with that man. I, I just, I don't know. It's kind of disgusting. Think about it, like, lesbians together, like, two girls together. That's beautiful. It's soft. It's delicate. Probably smells like perfume. Fucking awesome. But, like, you know, with a dude, it's just gonna be, like, you know, fucking hair and fucking sweat and nastiness and fucking nasty grunting sounds. And that's just... <laughs> it gets me to heebie-jeebies just thinking about it. So, nope. No man sex for me. And, uh... The next question is from Wizzy K T God again, and he says, "What are my top ten favorite rappers?" I don't know if I can name like ten favorite rappers, but I'll give you three. I really like uh, I like Tupac. I've said that before. I do like Biggie, and uh, I do like uh, Immortal Techniques. Immortal Techniques is really good. One of the last true uh, you know hip hop artists out there that doesn't care about money and just really wants to say what's on his mind. And if you watch some of his videos, you'll realize that, like, the guy's got a lot to say. And everything he says is pretty much the truth. So, you know, Immortal Techniques, bigs up, big up. <laughs> but uh, let's go on to the next question, which is from ZXCBNM10. And he says, am I going to get Far Cry 3 when it comes out? Uh, that might be one of the games that I'm going to skip. Uh, it does look interesting, though. I do like the fact that, like, you can slide down zip lines and you can actually, like, you know, shoot while doing that and all that. It looks pretty cool, but it doesn't, uh, Far Cry 2 wasn't a very good game, so it, uh, I'm really leery about it. So we're gonna have to see exactly how that plays out. I'm gonna, that's one of the games that I'm gonna wait for, uh, to see gameplay on YouTube first before I pick it up. Because, uh, you know, I bought Lollipop Chainsaw just because, you know, I was like, I gotta have that. And Far Cry 3 just doesn't have that, uh, you know, that gotta have it feel to it, I guess. That's, uh, the best way I can explain it. So, uh, once I see some gameplay up on, uh, YouTube, and if it looks like something that I can get into, you know, I'll, I'll pick it up and give it a try. I have no problem, you know, trying out new games, but, uh, it just seems like one of those games that I'll buy play it for like four hours and it never touch again so that's not a really good uh, efficient use of funds <laughs> but uh, let's get on to the next question and that's from regarding Marley and he says for, uh, for next week which is today he says tell us your love for Juggalos oh god uh, for those of you guys that don't know Juggalos are people that listen to ICP and they take like it, it's like a cult they're like brainwashed idiot morons. If you're a juggalo and you're taking offense to this, you know, I don't really care. Go fuck yourself. But, uh, no, I, I just, I think, you know, these are the type of people that kids, you know, need to watch out for because, uh, you know, it's very easy to try to, you know, want to be like somebody or try to find out where you fit in in society. And I think the kids that are juggalos are, uh... You know, they just don't know what they want to be when they grow up. And they don't know where they fit in with society. So instead of trying to fit in, they try to become outcasts. Uh, if that makes sense, they're, they're tricking their mind into telling them, I don't want to be popular. I don't want people to like me. I just want to be me. But when they're saying that, they're not saying that for themselves. They're not being themselves. And they're just being like everybody else that doesn't know what they are. And it's just sad. It really is. So that's exactly uh, how I feel about Juggalos. And Nelby, he's back. He ha Nelby has a really cool channel, actually. He does Gotham City gameplays. He doesn't do commentary, even though he should do commentary. So uh, I'm going to put his link in the description. And uh, go post on his channel and tell him to do a commentary with his sexy, sexy voice. Tell him I sent you because Nelby's a good guy. And... Uh, he needs to do commentary because he actually has a really good voice for it and he has really good gameplay and I think we're all missing out by him being shy so we need to help him not be shy and tell him do gameplay motherfucker with commentary so we all can watch it and benefit from you and the world will be a better place because we have Nelby commentary but yeah let's get into his actual question he says what is my favorite Minecraft seed and 
I'll tell you, my favorite Minecraft seed is on the PC. It was the same seed that I used for my server. It was called Bomberman. And that's with a capital B and just Bomberman. <laughs> uh, like, you know, Bomberman from the NES game. Uh, really awesome seed. It starts you out with a jungle there. And some really cool, like, uh, pretty awesome fucking lakes and shit. And it's really, really awesome. It's kind of like swampy, too. It's, uh, if, if you like, you know, diverse ty terrain, I guess... There's like six biomes off, like scattered right near the spawn, so it's a uh, pretty cool. You get a little bit of everything all in one little area. And how do I feel about the patch duplication glitch? Uh, well, there's new glitches out there. After the patch, I put up a video of it once, and uh, it's getting pretty good views. Last I checked, it's been up for like uh, I think like seven or eight days. No, it's actually been up for like four or five. And it's got like two thousand views on it. I'm actually pretty happy about that. And I think the uh, the duplication glitch shouldn't be patched until they come out with creative mode. Because once they have creative mode, then there's no reason to do duplication glitches. But uh, I, I do see why they don't want any type of bugs or glitches being exploited in the game. Because it makes the developers and studio uh, look... It looks bad upon them without, like, you know... I guess directly being bad. <laughs> and we have Z Toys HD. And he asks... Would you blow a dolphin's penis? Man, what is up with all the gay sex questions today? Uh, no, no. no I'm not even going to suck a human penis. Why would I suck a dolphin penis? Come on, man. I don't even like tuna. And tuna is pretty close to dolphin and meat. And, you know, I don't want to eat a tuna penis either. I don't want to eat a dolphin penis. Even if it was, like, served up on a hot dog. But, like, you want to eat a dolphin penis? No, no thanks. But, uh... Thanks for the question and thanks for watching, man. And we have Jace X Abel, and he says Angelina is hot, but why not Megan Fox? I'll tell you why. Megan Fox is very, very young, and I, I know you guys are gonna be like, "What? She's over eighteen? Yeah, she's over eighteen. I like my women a little bit older, which is why my woman is twenty years older than me, and I, I don't like going out with younger women." And Angelina Jolie is older than me, and she's about the same age as my girlfriend, somewhere around there. And uh, that's sexy to me. I, I think I think a woman gets sexier with age, and Angelina Jolie is proof of that. That woman is just dead fucking gorgeous. And Megan Fox, uh, you know, when she gets older, maybe uh, you know, I'll give her a chance. But you know, look at me. I'm sitting here talking about I'm gonna bang Megan Fox. I'm not gonna bang Megan Fox ever. But I mean, I probably wouldn't even if I met. Yeah, I probably would, but anyway, uh, she's young, and she's probably closer in age to my kid than she is to me. I, I'm thinking she's probably like 19, somewhere around there, which would put her, uh, you know, dead smack in the middle of the spectrum between me and my son, so uh, that, that'd be a little weird. I, I do think that is a little uh, tad odd, a little tad strange. And we've hit bedrock, and we found no fucking caves, no diamond, nothing. So, uh, what we're gonna do here is I think we're gonna make a branch mine. And then I could just, like, you know, plow through these walls like this and see if we could find any diamonds that way, which is a very fucking tedious process. And it's pretty much like the Minecraft version of grinding, which, uh, sucks balls, it really does. But, uh, let's, uh, let's check out what the next question is. And it's from Elite Jufro, and he says, This is added to my other question, but can I play Team Fortress 2 with you? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're going to be playing Team Fortress 2, send me a tweet, and if I feel like playing, I'll join you on Steam and have a good time. I haven't played uh, Team Fortress 2 a lot in the past few days, but I could probably get on some Team Fortress 2. That doesn't sound like a terrible fucking idea. It actually sounds like a pretty good idea. So, yeah, tweet at me, and if you want to play Team Fortress 2, let me know, and uh, one day we'll party up and, you know, hit up a server, and, uh, you know, we can kick some ass. And if you're good with a medic, I'll be happy, because I love using the heavy, 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 heavy. <laughs> and I, this, somebody commented on my video saying they've used this seed before, and they found that this world was devoid of diamonds. Which would be really fucking shitty, because I want diamonds. What diamonds? I don't even have enough for a diamond pickaxe. I got two diamonds in this whole fucking world, and it's really starting to piss me off. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's get on to the next question. 
And the next question is the last question. So uh, let's let's break a few more blocks and see what we get. We're not getting any goddamn fucking diamonds here. So we're gonna head back up since this is the last question. And maybe one day I'll actually find diamonds in this world again. Remember how happy I was? Then I almost died. I kind of wish I did die because uh, you know once I did find the diamonds and that creeper almost killed me. I was like, yeah, you know, whatever. But I didn't want my Let's Play series to end. But now that there's no diamonds, I want my Let's Play series. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but uh, the last question is from Toxic X Mouse, and he says, "What is your honest opinion on bronies?" And I'm pretty sure you're talking about the boys that like My Little Pony. And uh, I'm gonna lump them in the same group with uh, Juggalos. People that do like that thing. There's like two types of people that would be a brony. All right. One, you're going to have, like, the effeminate guy that, you know, really doesn't mind sharing his feelings, being a little bit sensitive, but, you know, still not fucking scared to admit that he likes ponies. And, you know, that, that's fine. That's all right. But the thing is, is that, uh, you know, a lot of people are, are going to misconstrue that for you being gay, which uh, I, I remember there's a lot of kids back in high school that was like that, and... Uh, you know, they got picked on a lot, and I don't want to see that happen because it breaks my heart because, you know, I've been picked on when I was a kid. Uh, my brother used to pick on me all the fucking time. He was an asshole, and uh, it's terrible. But the other kids that I think are bronies are kids that just, like I said, with the jugglers, they don't know who they are. They don't, they don't have an identity yet, so they just kind of, you know, put this facade on and put that little uh, smiley face on for everybody and, you know, say, I like ponies, this is who I am, you know, loud and proud. And, you know, they're trying to trying to find out exactly who they are by experimenting with their taste, with their likes, and, you know, that's pretty cool. And, you know, I'm going to add one more person on there. The last person I think would be a brony is just dudes trying to bang chicks. <laughs> They'll be like, yeah, you know what? I like ponies too. You want to go watch ponies together? Yeah. But I am. I'm banging you on the couch. I'm plowing the shit out of your pony pussy, baby. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha. But yeah, that got a little graphic there. But uh, my opinion on bronies is, eh, you know what? To each their own. My background's pink. I like pink. I have a purple hat. I have a purple shirt. I wear a lot of, like, purple and pink. I don't give a fuck. You don't like it? Fuck you. I like colors. I like things that are bright, you know? I grew up my whole high school years wearing nothing but black. And you know what? I, I enjoy wearing color now. So, you know what? To all those people out there that make fun of guys that wear pink, suck a big fat dick. Ha <laughs> ha! My name's Jay. More than Afterkill. I want you guys to rate, comment, subscribe. Also, check out my Twitter. It's at More Than Afterkill. I don't really push my Twitter that often, but I do talk with you guys a lot and, uh, you know, talk with me, have a good time, and uh, possibly, you know, maybe chat on Skype or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll start up like a, a Skype chat room for all my subscribers. If you guys would be interested in that, you know, leave a comment letting me know. And uh, But also, feel free to leave a question for next week. I do like to answer these questions. I do answer every question I get, no matter how silly, as you saw in this episode. But yeah, my name's Jay. More than Afterkill. Rate, comment, motherfucking subscribe! Ha ha ha! Yeah. See you guys later.